terms of a record, uh, Del Vicio comes in with a one win and three loss record. He scored a win by submission. And uh, in his last fight, he scored a submission victory. And I think you saw that, right? Yeah, very fast rear naked choke. I mean, took the guy right to the ground and, and sunk in that choke super fast. I mean, I think it was only 40 seconds into the first round. Ryan Davis, he's out of Tyler's Fight Club in uh, Delaware. Greco-Roman wrestler, which is not a common skill. I mean, that's how they, those guys like the upper body yeah. grappling. A, a lot of the wrestlers come in, come with that folk style wrestling, which is what you see in college and in high school, which is, you know, shooting in on the legs like our last fighter did, taking the, you know, shooting in on the legs and going for takedowns that way. Yeah, the, uh, here we go, Ryan Socha with the uh, official introduction. It's Rhino Davis from Wilmington, Delaware. Very warm reception for Joe Del Vicio tonight. Well, they're both local guys. That's uh, going to be a that's one of the beauties of this also, is the contrast in styles and skills. So it's going to be real interesting to watch uh, what you describe as Del Vicio's talents in the, uh, and I guess it's, he calls it freestyle. Yep. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, though, is his. His real strong point is watch Joey for his kicks and watch for his, uh, his awkward leg sweeps. Awkward leg sweeps. And for beautiful right kick to the midsection of Ryan Davis. Looks like Brian Davis shrugged that off. Ryan Davis' hands are very, very low. And Joe looks like, there he goes, Joe bringing the hands back up. Well, they, both of them have low hands. Is, uh, does uh, Novicio go to the head with this kick? Oh, no, this, he can't and, do that. Amateur MMA, no kicks to the head. I'm sure he'd love to, but no no, no head kicks in amateur MMA. No serious punches thrown yet, either. No, and looks like Ryan Davis is switching from southpaw to orthodox back and forth, really confusing Joe right now. Southpaw right now, but he better, he's got to do something. He can't just keep moving. Neither one has thrown a serious punch yet. It's, I mean, MMA has a feeling out. Oh, oh, left oh. hook by Joe Del Vicio. Lands flush on Ryan Davis. He landed a nice left hook, followed it with a right hand, and then closed the distance. He looks now, like he's going for that guillotine choke. Looks like it could be tight around Joe's neck. Joe's going to need to start working that grip of Ryan Davis' hands, or he's going to find himself in a lot of trouble. He doesn't have it under the chin yet, though, does he? No. But still, I mean, those arms can, you start to sweat, it can squirm right in. Yeah, yeah. Ryan oh. Davis using it for a powerful takedown up against the cage right now. Now that may be an example of that superior Correct size. Oh, yeah. I mean, what he did is just flatten him. And oh, he did it. I didn't see a tap. I don't know. I'm not sure what it that must was. must have been a neck crank. Joe looks like he's in pain right now. Oh, now what, are, what just happened? What? Uh, it looks like he had a guillotine, attempting a guillotine, and uh, it looks like maybe but cranked his neck. It cranked his neck, and I guess Joey from the pain of the neck crank. A little well, confusion right now. All right. We're not certain exactly what happened there, but, I mean, it looks to me like Ryan Davis is the winner of that fight, even though he was acting very uh, upset. Maybe he was just jubilant. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your about tap out. TNT show, one, two, four, the 